What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and I'm starting off at a weird place. Um, when I press on pause here, there's assholes all over the place. Holy crap! <laughs> so I kind of accidentally ran in here in between episodes, and there's this asshole up here that was kind of blocking my way, so I was unable to really do much about it. And now I'm just hitting these red assholes because they're assholes. Yeah, you could just we can I just take a second? Oh no, I no, I can't just take a second. All right, let's just run over here very tiredly. Alright, that's an enchant my thing of Bob, my thing of what's it. Oh, and I just punched my mic, of course I did. Great. Try to go and adjust my glasses. And I had to punch my mic. The most frustrating thing in the world. Especially sometimes when I accidentally hit my mic, it'll um, disconnect it. Which <laughs> those are very happy times for me. You have no idea. Well, what was to happen? I'd prefer to have it right at the beginning of an episode instead of, you know, twenty minutes into an episode. Dude, this is not going too well for me. Assuming these guys are all gonna die at similar times here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's why I thought. Whoa, what the hell? Uh, dilapidated Merle deceives the ancient Kamar people, coexisting with some kind of fertility god. They offer sacrifice to the beast in return. Are showered with benevolent good crops and hunting. Cool. All the freaking could I examine all of this? No, this is, all, this is all just the same thing. That's cool, very man like, very difficult to actually. Can I kill none? Okay, there we go. that's all I want to do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See the freaking B button flashing up and having a heart attack there. Keep going, finish him and examine over and over again. Oh, can we get this guy? No, come on. Oh, nope. well, he's gone. <laughs> oh, it's fire. I guess Augustus maybe let this to put fear in our hearts. Pretty sure we're really close now. Wait, did we, did we come from this way? Maybe. Man, they need to make these rooms less. No, I think we came from that way. They may need to make these rooms look less similar because I have no idea if I'm going the right way or the wrong way most of the time. It hurts my eyes, my eyeballs, my balls of eyes. Alright, so let's avoid these. Thank you. Because I really don't want to have another heart attack from almost dying. Can I save now? Please, that's all I ask. Why not? Is it because there's traps in here? Oh man, can I avoid these? Maybe. Yes, I can. Nice. I just need to walk slowly past things. Aha! What's in here? Don't try to hide from me, asshole. What's in here? What's this? Nothing. Or just a torch on the wall. Fine. How come this all looks all wooden? Like, at least the floor looks really wooden. It doesn't look stone. It looks wooden. Did I mention that it looks wooden? Alright, can't avoid these pressure plates. If only I could jump. What a dinkus malinkus. Alright, I don't avoid most of those. Hello! Hello, fuckers! I'm sorry. <laughs> I just really wanted to do that. Uh huh. Kill all these assholes. These ass butts. With my sword, my cookery, cookery. Of course, of course, the enchantment runs out now. Why wouldn't it? I wonder if it just uses a certain amount of hits to run out. Uh, do I have time for this? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we have enough time for this. I have enough time. Who has enough time for this? I do. All right, what am I getting here? I get the number one with a negative in front of it. Yay! Yeah, just what I've always wanted. All right, can I finish this guy? Yeah. I'm hungry. <laughs> uh, mangling zombie bodies just makes me really freaking hungry, apparently. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. Can I kill you now? Yes, I can! I've never been so hot in my life to kill a zombie. Now, is there anything interesting in this room? There's another Merle. What's this? Examine. Oh, detail. A damage engraving on the wall disips a skeletal demon befriending an ancient Kumar people. To Lindsay's eyes, the demon looks exactly like Paul Augustine's just undis dis disguised self. You know what? I was actually going to say, as soon as it says a skeletal demon, I thought it was maybe Augustus, and apparently it is. <sighs> See, I don't know. I, yeah, I'm. I don't. I have no idea who's bad and who's good in this game. It's really confusing. The Kumar people—that's not how you even pronounce that, isn't it? Kumar, something. 
Maybe, is that like that girl's people that like, you know, she took the, I don't know, I'm so confused. The girl we played on secondly, you know, after Augustus, Auguste. Yeah, I activated something there. Oh, there, here we go. I really don't want more poison gas. There's another one I can't avoid. Oh boy. Holy crap. And another one. There's another one! A sandy cheeks might save. Man, I gotta save. <laughs> really badly. I honestly, I'm probably gonna look up how to save after this. Oh no! What the hell's going on? Why is everything blue? You're gonna explode and I can't do a god dang thing about it! Ah, uh, don't explode. Give me like two seconds. There we go. Holy crap, that still hurt a lot. <laughs> Lenti f finds this Merle frighteningly familiar. It, uh, it is a scene he saw in the Tome of Eternal Darkness. The fertility god must be Mantarok, and the temple must be its tomb. Yes, it is. Thank you for noticing. Yep. Uh, am I hurt? Oh, actually, I'm pretty dang hurt. <laughs> Feel the rumbling. I'm. Oh, that's not healing very much, is it? Okay, there you go. I was gonna say, does the more I use this spell, the less it heals? Which I guess that's a possibility. Oh, apparently it uses less magic to heal sanity. Hmm. Interesting. Could I maybe save or something after I pick up this scroll? Looks like there's a lamb on it. Okay, the summon trapper room. Or summon trapper? I don't know why room came into my mind. But the last it did. What's this do? Magic inscribed on the parchment in a bloody pigment. Invoking this magic brings into existence a creature known as a trapper. Trapper. Oh! Passes the unique to send time and space and recoil objects. Ah. Uh, I could be wrong, but I think this might summon those little dudes that teleport me to that dimension. Oh, there's another guy in here! I was like, whoa, why am I turning green for a second? But, or, actually, I was like, why is my sanity coming up? But, okay. Can we kill you? No, of course not. Alright, let's walk away. <laughs> that was an adorable explosion. She's like, I wish I could get more of these. Is there a way to get more? No, I don't know, because I don't have the book anymore. I don't have that uh, auto spy book thing. What am I doing right now? Wait, oh, yeah, I think I was checking my health. Right, I can use some sanity. There we go. Can I maybe enchant this? Oh my good lord, it and maybe uh, do a little bit of saving. That could definitely Oh I can finally do it! Yes! Look! Look how far back I saved! That's a very long time since I saved, guys. Two hours later! That's a long time! That kind of really sucks, actually. Maybe it's just I have to clear a room of all dangers or something. Maybe that's what I... Ooh, hello. These weren't here before. Hello, man, Turok. Alright, let's see what this thing looks like. Like, 30 years before. Oh, I, he looks all nice now. He looks less like, you know... Gross and more... He looks less like a big pile of flesh and more of like a demon, I guess, or something. I don't really know. The power of Mantarok is not easily controlled. What makes you think I want to control it? <laughs> Arrogant man. Kill him! Make sure you succeed oh, no. this time. <gasps> yes! I think. Oh no, is he dead? Did, I, did he done goofed? The darkness shall prevail. Oh, cool. So I guess he's a bad guy. And I'm guessing this is also a bad guy. Are you containing him? I'm really confused. Like, Augustus, is he trying to contain the power of freaking Mantarok? Like, the corpse god, Mantrok, defies all human description. Massive, amorphous, perhaps, but these words can only capture the gross nature of the beast, not the species, their specifics. Its form, seemingly within, without design or true function, stirs as Lindsay nears, awakened by his presence. With every breath of the creature's many mouths, sigh and cough, sputtering in its torturous death throes. Hello! 
computerized for me, please. I mean, it's less shaky here than it was before. You look important. Oh, it's a statue that's been broken. There's only legs left. I got it! I caught it. I caught on. I wonder how big this guy is, because he his body like went to the end of the room there. My sword has yellow on the tip of it. <laughs> the eyes are like poking out. There, oh, see, there's statues here. I was right, it was totally a statue. So, like, yeah, I'm really confused. Is this guy evil along with Augustus and that eye thing? Is the eye thing a part of Man Truck? No, because, like, the eye goddess thing, Zeltroth? Zeltroth. Once, once Man Truck the state dead, right? Or state contained? So it's like, who's, are they both evil? Do they hate each other? And like, humans are just, you know, kind of on the side? Are there like two sides or like ten sides? I'm so confused. Oh, oh it's her! It's Do the girl! Do the heart, flesh, and bone, lest you become like me, a dead, rotted husk. I have waited many centuries for you. It was not easy hiding from the Dark Ones as they searched for me. At first they passed by, not thinking that the heart inside my dead body, but I was forced to find refuge here. You must seal the heart so it never contacts your flesh and take it to the gathering of light. Hey, is that my mansion? Take the heart there, or the world shall fall under a reign of eternal darkness. Do you know the name of this guy yet? Oh yeah, it's Lindsay. It can only be pulled back so far, mortal. Take your stand and fight the darkness. I like how she said she was hiding from them, but she hid in a very like conspicuous place, suspicious place even. Is this the mansion? Oh, he gave it to her grandpa. Ah. <laughs> Demon Khmer. Well, that's a very obvious spot. Hmm, all these book spines poking out, and there's just one front-facing book. I wonder. Did no one ever think to, like, you know, remove that book? <laughs> ever? Why is the intro playing? Is that the end of the game? I did it! That was weird. That was a weird transition. Hey, I still have that blue thing. The, the reveal secret thing. Oh, I'm back in here! I guess it automatically puts me back in here. Every time I'm done reading a chapter. So remember, I started I started reading that chapter at the toilet. At the, the, the toilet. Alright, let's run back. To the library. And let's go figure out which bookcase we have hidden the heart of darkness behind. I mean, that guy kind of sucked at- What the hell was that? Did I just see something fly across the room? That was creepy. That was really creepy. It might have also just been a glitch or, like, the light or something. What the hell?! Oh, well, I found it. It's right here. Okay, that's really creepy. Alex discovers a pulp novel. Uh, that's not me walking, by the way. Uh, Alex discovers a pulp novel written by one Dr. Edwin Lindsay amongst the books on the shelves. This is where the Tome of Eternal Darkness indicated that something of value was hidden. Behind this book, shall Alex take a look? Yeah, sure, why not? I got the evil heart. With the book removed, a secret cache is revealed inside the heart of Mantrock encased in glass to protect the world from its corrosive energies. Energy. Let's claim the essence of Manta Rock. I did it. Yay. <laughs> These books contain the history of the Vice family. Okay, yes, we already read all this crap. So now what? What the fuck is going on? Why? Why? Well, I knew. I thought I saw something fly across the screen, and I'm glad I'm not crazy. Well, I still might be crazy, actually, but at least I know what, what happened there. This room. This is the room I was talking about before. I was like, well, what the heck? All these noises in the background are actually really starting to creep me out a little bit, which is weird because I didn't think that would ever happen. 
Everything's so frantic. Does Alex just not care. She just doesn't give a shit. It's all these weird noises. So now what? Oh, okay. She has appeared to start giving me a shit. I guess I'll call an episode here. Let's just take that out. You know what? Let's look. Let's by looking like a badass. We'll have a revolver in hand. Yeah, I'll shoot you. Yeah, what's up? Uh, uh, I dance to the music. Okay, thanks a lot for watching, watching guys. I messed that up. Uh, if you enjoyed, please leave likes or already. My name's Chris. In the next episode, I will maybe figure out where to go. Can we just use this? No. Can we check it? What's this? What's say when we check? Madrox's heart pulses with unholy life. Although it's the corpse god itself festers elsewhere, its power resides within this artifact. Can we not just destroy it or something? That, I don't think that's been explained yet. If we could destroy it, I don't think we can. Hmm, there's the basement there. This door was also gone. Oh, yeah, that's a library. When we're in the when we're in Max Max's lifetime. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Please tell me I can save. Thank you. What the heck? Oh, I thought I was sticking out my tongue there. <laughs> uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. <laughs> I still look like I'm sticking out my tongue.